So today I'm just going to create a quick fire effect and I'm not going to use any plugins. So I'm just going to create a new composition. Control Y to create a new solid. I'm going to uh, call it fire. And then I'm going to go to simulate particle systems 2. This is what we get initially. So I'm going to go to producer and just drop it down slightly. Go to physics and cho choose fire and particle choose bubble. So this is what we get. And I'm going to make the birth size bigger and the depth size slightly smaller. Actually, I might make the birth size smaller as well. Um, I'm going to leave that composite. And I'm just going to reduce the longevity slightly to about there. And I'm going to reduce the extra and reduce velocity slightly. And just make radius x zero. So next I'm going to add motion blur here and then tick it here. And I'm just going to reduce my comp size. Particles need to be a bit smaller, I think. Okay. The next step is search for a CC vector motion blur and just drag and drop that on and add some. I'm just going to increase them. Just play with the setting slightly. I think maybe. So, um, okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some fast blur, maybe four pixels, and put that before the vector blur. And next I'm going to add uh, echo, so just type echo drag and drop that on and it creates like basically instances. I'm going to make three copies and I'm just going to drop this down to negative 0.01 maybe even less 0, 0 0.009 or 8 and maybe just two copies and it's kind of looking slightly more uh, fiery. Velocity seems a bit high, so we can just go back and uh, turn that down. Just gonna increase death slide just slightly, death size, and just gonna play with the longevity, just want it to be slightly longer. Might add some directional blur as well, um, just a tad and put it before the vector blur. And if it's looking too, it's kind of toxic yellow in the middle here, so make that a more kind of white yellow and already it's looking a lot better. Um, so about there. Next, <clears throat> sorry. Next, uh, curves, color correction curves. I'm just going to go to the alpha setting and then just pull this in slightly. And then I'm actually going to add another one and just to kind of get the reds out slightly. Not too much. And then 
I'm going to add distort uh, turbulent displace. This is just kind of um, add some kind of wind, like you know, uh, kind of heat haze. And I'm just going to reduce the amount. I'm just going to look at the size here. Oh, right, too big. And um, we've got lots of displacement displacement options. I think I'll go with a twist smoother. And pinning uh, pin horizontal maybe. Still looking a bit fast to me. Uh, I'm just going to drop the velocity down to 0 0.2, reduce the extra, and increase the radius. As you can see, we can make it like a, we can give it different types of properties. I'm just going to increase the Y slightly, maybe. Make that longevity point one point one. Um, turbulent displace. Just going to play with this offset. Size needs to be bigger, maybe 77. Mm. Or quite big, 120. And I'm going to alt stopwatch click uh, offset and I'm just going to give it a wiggle expression. Wiggle 250. See what this looks like. You can see a little bit of uh, turbulence going on there. Particles seem a bit small to me. Uh, birth size, maybe make that 0 0.2. Death size, 0 0.4. That's too big. So it's just like a, it's pretty much a, a tweaking kind of um, exercise. Certain values, just very subtle changes in values can give huge differences in look. The effect blur needs to be a bit more. Yeah, a bit more vector blur. Seems to add quite a bit. And then once you're happy with the settings, just garnish with a glow of your choice. I'm just going to adjust the threshold here. Uh, increase the radius. And it's a bit intense, so let's drop that down slightly. So there you go, that's our uh, cheap no plug-in fire effect.